So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week for Ada, Eververse, Banshee, and Zer. Not in that order, but that's what we usually do. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of the people are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification, it all does really help the channel. Other than that, let's look at the fit for the video. So this one is gonna be for the new chess piece from Into the Light. I'm, I think I'm about to get the arms Honestly, the biggest problem with this armor set is just getting the currency to buy the armor. But I'm actually really surprised with this one. Uh, so for this one, we're going to be going for a cowboy look. The illicit collector mask for the helmet. Starfarer's grips for the arms. The chest piece is obviously the, the Intel of the Light chest piece. For the pants, it's actually Lucky Pants with a Deep Pockets ornament. And then the TM, TM Erp custom cloak Stetson. So... For the shading and silver snare, I just felt like this one looks way better because uh, the arms shader like a bitch. But yeah, I really, really like this. When I first saw the chest piece, I was immediately like, oh, this is going to be such a good like cowboy look. The only problem I have with it is the cloak and the chest piece kind of conflict with each other. So if you have a really big problem with that, you can take it off. And it'll look pretty good still actually let me do this one better so yeah you can do something like this and i think this looks really cool i would probably switch out the cloak for something else maybe uh, maybe go for a poncho look maybe but we don't even have that so i'll probably do oh where is it i'm trying to find a specific one um <clears throat> this one would be pretty cool because again you're gonna want to go for like a poncho look or if you really want you don't have to go for something like a poncho look the only problem is this this um this cloak is unavailable right now so you can do something like this that looks really really cool because again now i look just like a regular cowboy which the only thing is i just don't like the helmet the helmet just kind of pisses me off so that's why i probably would never use this one but this one's also really really cool but again conflicts with the well, I guess it doesn't because uh, it would it would be like a scarf at that point. So you could do something like this instead. But either way, yeah, that's the that's the look for the video. So for 801, let's look at what she's offering for shading. So Vitrovite Duality is one of my favorite shaders just because uh, the purple glow is so saturated that it just it goes really well with a lot of armor pieces that have that purple glow. We have Tangled Rust, which I definitely recommend. It's really, really good. It also looks pretty good with this, not gonna lie. Uh, it's really good because it gives armor that very like worn look, which I like a lot. Actually, it looks really cool with this. And then New Monarchy Succession, which is the red one. Yeah, this is a really good one too. I definitely would recommend this one as well. It looks good with this too as well. And then for the armor, it's all right here. So for the armor, I definitely would recommend for the hunter stuff and the titan stuff, specifically the titan stuff. The titan stuff I think is amazing. Warlocks, you guys look like bums. But let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I personally really, really love all of this, all of the set for the titans except the mark. Hunters, I think all of it minus the cloak is really good as well. And then warlocks, like I said, I think the helmet's the only good thing. Other than that, everything else looks pretty trash. As for Banshee, he is selling Whispered Slab. I feel like he sells this all the time. Uh, quick draw and demo, which is pretty nice. Arvindel FR6 with Reconstruction and One for All. Man, if that was something else instead of One for All, I would have recommended that. Uh, Dire Promise with Snapshot Sights and an Elemental Capacitor. Peace of Mind with Compulsive Reloader and Harmony. And then Code Dulo with Impulse Amplifier and Cluster Bombs. So. Just, remind you, just to remind you guys, Peace of Mind is a red border weapon, so if you guys want, definitely pick that one up. But I wouldn't recommend any of these. I mean, Whispering Slab is pretty interesting considering demos. Mm, no. Like, maybe. I don't know. Arvindel, definitely not. Uh, dire Promise. I don't know about Dire. Snapshot Size is nice, but Elemental. Let's see what's the other things. Stability? Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend this one. Like, no, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this one. But yeah, let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up from Banshee. Astrazur, he's in the hangar at the tower, currently selling 
the Titan Planetary Armor Set. So I definitely would recommend this armor set for pretty much everyone. Uh, I think the helmets for all of them are so dope. Specifically Hunters, I love your boots. I love your chest piece and your arms are interesting and the cloak is really cool. Titans, actually, hold on. Before I start talking about the Titans, let me go see them real quick. I kind of don't remember them. Um, Titans, helmet's super dope. I think the boots are amazing. I love the boots. They're one of my favorite boots to go for a casual look. I think the arms and chest piece are okay. I think the mark definitely has potential. Warlocks, that the helmet is so good. The chest piece is fine. The arms are weak. The boots are interesting and the bond is like whatever. So I definitely would recommend the armor for sure because again, not only is it from a planetary, uh, not only is it from a planet that doesn't even exist in Destiny 2 anymore, but it's also vanilla Destiny 2 armor. So I know some people are definitely going to want to pick that up. And yeah, I really have nothing else to say about this armor. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking any of these up. As for the armor rolls that are right here, you guys can check them out. Like I always say in almost every of these videos, I always say this armor is definitely like starter armor because you definitely want to go for armor that is artifice armor. I think artifice armor is the best armor in the game because it gives you a plus three free stats on anything you want. And that's for all of the armor that you get aside from the exotic, obviously. So you'd be getting three, six, nine, 12, 15. So 15 pieces, 15. That's a lot. Fifth, no, not 15 you'd be getting 12 pieces of just free stats anywhere you want. So I think that's super worth it, considering sometimes your your stat rolls are not perfect. So the artifice armor really comes in clutch. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up. As for the weapons, we have Archer's Tempo and Swash for Whispering Slab, which is not bad actually. Thoughtless with Firmly Planted and Firing Line, interesting. Drang, Baroque, Moving Target and Turnabout. The day aside, slide shot, one two punch, man. Uh, outlast with keep away and opening shot, that's not bad. Uh, Honor's Edge with Relentless Strikes and Shattering Blade, and then Quick Fang with Tireless Blade and Flash Counter. So, just to remind you guys, this one is a red border, and this one is a red border. I don't think this one's a red border because the, the like taken effect one is a red border, I think. I could be wrong about that, but. These two are red borders and you definitely need to get Drang. That one's a really good PvP weapon and a really good PvE weapon as well. Um, there isn't much that I would recommend here. Outlaws? Uh, uh, Outlaws. Outlast seems damn and a range masterwork. Damn. Okay, let's see. pick that up real quick. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. So for the exotic Hawkmoon with quick draw. Quick draw. Mm, really? Quick draw? Damn, am I going to be picking shit up today? And handling speed? I mean, that's kind of trash considering that I already have quick draw on it. Small bore. Mm, fast reloads. Uh, well, magazine's empty. That's nice, actually. Um, <clears throat> Fuck it. Let's pick that up. Um... Wait, what's what's mine actually? I, I need to I need to see what what my hawk moon is because I don't even remember to be quite honest. Hawk moon. <laughs> oh, it's killing wind. Oh, never mind. I like my killing wind roll. All right, so let's actually see hard light. Interesting. I definitely would recommend hard light. It's a really good weapon for PVE. I've seen some people. Yeah, I've seen some people use it for PVP and it's annoying. But I, rare, I usually use this just for PvE when the burns are all, like, when all of the burns are out. This is just such a clutch weapon because then I'm like, I don't care what burn you have. I'm just going to destroy you. Um, and then Lucky Raspberry, which I think is trash. One-Eyed Mask, which I think, uh, wow, that mobility is way too high. And then Getaway Artist with, ooh, baby, Jesus Christ. Dog, that would be a natural third, well... Technically natural 30 considering uh, once you master work it, then it'll be up to 31 25 for discipline that resilience is way low But I feel like I don't really don't give a fuck about that considering 
Intellect is at 7, which would mean I'd be at 19 once I master work. Damn, dude. I'm picking this up right now. Hold on. What are we, what are we erasing, dog? Um, this. For sure, this. Let's, let's pick this up real quick and then give it to my... Alright. Let's do what we're getting for my exotic. Hopefully, it's something useful. Probably not. Ooh, 6 Coyote. Let me shut the fuck. Let's go see what it is. So, for the... Wow, the stats are... You know, the stats aren't that bad. Because once I masterwork it, it'll be a 10 resilience plus a 19 on recovery and mobility. Because obviously I'd go for recovery. So that's a one on or a two on mobility and recovery and a one on resilience, which I, I don't know if I really mind that considering strength and intellect is also at a one. Strength also technically would be at a two. So it's like, do I really mind that? I'm, a, I'm definitely going to keep it. Um... But yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from all of the vendors. Uh, let's actually look at Eververse before I start talking about that because we haven't looked at her yet. Erebos Glance. So I definitely would recommend this shader. People, you guys need to not sleep on this shader because it's really, really good. That being said, we do have a shader available this, I guess, I don't know if it's going away or not. But I should probably remind you all the time now because, again, this sh I don't know if when this shader is going to leave, if it's going to leave. But we have Super Black. Super Black is what it says. It's really fucking dark. And it's a really good shader if we ever get to see it because it's taking forever to load. So here's the shader. I, I think it looks amazing. Um, this is coming from someone who used to use this back in the day. So, And I'm a hunter, so that automatically equals edgelord i guess but yeah i reminder may do all of your bounties from shacks specifically um the weapon bounties and then what is what's the what's the last one you have to level him all the way up so do those two and then you'll get super black not that hard so let's go back to eververse lucid i love the shader the shader is one of my favorite shaders when i want to go for a hive look or just basically like an organic like spider type of thing like anything like that with a carapace i guess it is going to be really cool with the shader uh cannon fodder which is amazing itsy bitsy spider ornament for the recluse definitely pick this one up is really really good that being said i think it has a better ornament because it's an actual spider looking one uh, do it yourself, Forge Master. I think this one is a forever emote because it has an exit emote, which I always appreciate, even though I don't use emotes like that. And then for the stuff at the bottom, extra extravagant wishcraft, which I I, <sighs> I want to take, I want to get this. Like for real, I really, really do. It's just that I never use this exotic, so it's like, why would I even waste the uh, bright dust on an exotic that I never use? uh lunatics legacy which i think looks pretty cool definitely interesting laser cutter is a shell which looks really cool virulent cloak i definitely will show you the armor even though i've already shown you guys before but i definitely will show you this armor soon probably after this one uh or not after this one but after we look at it ever so that way you guys can see the pieces that she's selling for the virulent stuff and the other pieces as well chicken dinner this is an old one dog this is from season of the drifter dude that's a while ago uh happy harpy entrance dude i was still living in la <laughs> jesus uh vex gate arrival only the finest <clears throat> and then sinking feeling for the shader i definitely would recommend this shader if you're going for an electrical look just because it looks good uh polished sea stone which this doesn't look bad dude wow this actually does not look bad mm, cool Oiled gunmetal, which I definitely recommend. This is a good shader. You guys need to pick it up because it makes guns look fucking cool. And then Sunrise Warrior, which is the pink one, which there are better pink ones out there, but I definitely would recommend this if you don't have a pink one yet. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Uh, 
there's a few things I want to talk about. First and foremost, I am currently working on, obviously, like I said, the uh, parade stuff. I already have, or I can actually show you the collections real quick because I, I think I'm only missing the Warlock chess piece right now. Yeah, so I'm working on the arms right now. And then the helmet will be the last piece, obviously. Titans, you guys already have all of the pieces, or I already have the pieces for you guys. And I already made an armor set for the chest piece, which I think looks amazing. And then chest piece for the Warlocks, I hate it so much, dude. It, it looks so terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry if you like it, but I, I think it's, it looks like straight doo-doo butter, dog. It looks terrible. That being said, I'm... Thinking about kind of binding it with some like electrical sets, maybe that would probably be really. This actually looked really cool. I was thinking about combining it with one of the ornaments from Geomex, just because it gives me that vibe. But let me be honest, man. This chess piece just what the fuck is happening, bro? Um, yeah, there's really not a lot of pieces from the Warlock set that I'm like, oh, this looks dope. A lot of it, I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Who designed this? I'm not trying to attack you or anything. It's just like I want. I just want to talk. Like I just want to. Just want to see where your mind was going when you made this armor because it looks pretty terrible. I can't wait for the review for this armor because I'm not gonna be nice, bro. I think, like, the the hunters has some cool pieces. Titans definitely have some cool pieces, and warlocks like all of your all of your shit is just so questionable, bro. I have so many questions for this set. Um, but yeah. I will most likely be doing reviews for the weapons because some of these weapons are dope and some of the other weapons are not dope. Uh, yeah, so we're, I want to I want to do as much reviewing as possible for the Into the Light stuff. Uh, I still have to release. Uh, oh shit! Hold on, let me show you guys real quick. So I still have to release the, my first impression of Onslaught, which is funny, I guess. And then the Whisper mission I did solo. I want to do my my first reaction of that or my first uh, run of it and then do it on legend solo flawless which is not it's not gonna be hard at all dude uh whisper i thought was pretty interesting considering the the last boss at the end you don't you can choose to fight them one by one which was interesting i fought them all three that's just how i i'm used to it but one by one is gonna be super easy and the last boss is also just kind of easy as well so i'll probably do that today or tomorrow and yeah there's other stuff i want to do i want to react to the crucible new maps if we got them i'm pretty sure we did and then uh that's pretty much it uh we still have a lot of fashion stuff to do we still have the tactical sets that i'm i've uh need to edit um and some other fashion stuff as well so let me know what you guys think uh i appreciate you guys coming to this point be safe i will see you guys later